and welcome to my baby room. As you can see, I have a couple of incubators in my kitten room, and I get a lot of questions from people about what incubators are for, how to use them, and whether an incubator is right for your foster setup. So today I'm gonna to be talking all about using incubators with baby kittens. Before I begin, I want to say you do not have to have an incubator to be able to foster neonatal kittens. In fact, I didn't have an incubator for the first seven years that I was fostering kittens. If you're fostering neonates, the only thing that you need to have is some kind of heat source for them. So if you don't have access to an incubator, all you need is an electric or microwavable heat pad that you can put a baby blanket over, and that works perfectly for these little guys. Of course, I have a lot of advice about the pros and cons of different heat sources in my book, Tiny But Mighty, and I also have information on my website about that at kittenlady.org slash heat sources. But today I wanna to focus on incubators because they're definitely becoming a lot more popular for foster parents and even animal shelters to purchase. I think that's a great sign that programmatically we're investing a lot more in these really vulnerable orphaned kittens. But incubators are new for a lot of us. So if incubators are new for you, this is the video you need to watch. In this video, we're gonna talk about what an incubator does, why you might need an incubator, when you should use it, how to use it, and I'll share which one I recommend. So let's start with the what. So what an incubator does is it provides a stable environment for a kitten to grow up in. It's an enclosed unit with a temperature control, a humidity control, and an air filtration system that filters the outside air and brings it into the incubator. Some incubators also have ports for other devices that you might use, like an oxygen concentrator or a nebulizer for sick kittens. But as you can see, it's a totally contained unit where you can control the ambient temperature, the humidity, and even the quality and contents of the air. Why might you need one? Well, one of the important things to know if you're caring for neonatal kittens is that they can't thermoregulate during the first weeks of life. So the only way that these guys can stay the correct temperature is through their mother's warmth, through huddling, and through environmental temperature. Hypothermia is a major risk factor for neonatal kittens and it can lead to serious illness and even death. It's very common for orphaned kittens to come in to rescue way too cold. So we have to keep them at a proper and steady temperature. Having an incubator is great because you can set an exact temperature and you can monitor that screen and make sure that it's correct. The ability to control the humidity is a nice bonus as heat can be pretty drying for these little guys. The humidification can help them with more comfortable breathing, more comfortable rest, and even more comfortable skin. You don't have to use the humidifier, but if you have access to it, I definitely recommend taking advantage of that feature. As for when I use it, I pretty much exclusively use my incubator with kittens who are zero to three weeks old. That's because this is the age that kittens are the most vulnerable, the least capable of thermoregulation, and this is the age where they are pretty much just sleeping most of the day. Kittens zero to three weeks old will either have their eyes closed or their eyes open with very blurry vision, and their coordination is very poor. So these are not kittens who are wanting to explore. For them, it's actually really beneficial to just be in a small, contained, safe space that is the correct temperature for them. But once the kittens hit three weeks old, they have improved coordination, improved eyesight, and a growing desire to get the heck out of the incubator. So around three weeks, I'll usually upgrade them to a bigger space like a playpen. Now keep in mind, kittens need access to a heat source until they're at least four weeks of age. So even once they've upgraded to their playpen, you still wanna give them access to some kind of heat pad for at least one more week, preferably longer. So all that being said, I would really only recommend purchasing an incubator if you're regularly working with orphaned kittens who are zero to three weeks old. Okay, let's talk about how to use it. So the settings that I use are based on my experience over the last four years using incubators and also based on what the literature says about the environmental temperature needs of kittens. In general, the younger a kitten is, the higher you want their environmental temperature to be. And as the kitten gets older, you want to very gradually decrease the environmental temperature until they stop needing that external support altogether. So for a zero to one week old kitten, I'll typically start them out around 90 degrees on the incubator. Over the course of that first week, I'll gradually bring it down to 87 degrees. During the second week of life, I'll typically start out around 87 degrees, and then I'll gradually bring them down to about 85. 
And then between two and three weeks of age, I'll start around 85 degrees and I'll gradually bring them down to 80 degrees. There isn't a ton of research on incubators and kittens, but the best data we have comes out of UC Davis. They did have an incubator study with kittens that showed decreased huddling behaviors in kittens who were set at 90 degrees and increased huddling behaviors in kittens who were set at 80 degrees. So one other consideration might be how many kittens are in the incubator at once. If you have a solo kitten and they're not able to huddle with litter mates, then maybe you want to give them a slightly higher temperature than a kitten who's in there with six other siblings. But as a general rule of thumb, I will start a brand new newborn kitten out at about 90 degrees and gradually work them down to 80 degrees by three weeks of age. Now let's talk about humidity. To use a humidifier, you'll need some long tubing, and the kind I use is aquarium tubing. One end of the tube goes onto the valve on the incubator, and the other end goes directly into a bottle of distilled water. You never wanna use tap water, you want to purchase distilled water from the store in order to ensure that you're using the humidifier safely. Then on your settings, you wanna set it to about 60% humidity, and it can stay at that setting the entire time the kitten's in the incubator from zero to three weeks old. The tube will suck the water up and turn it into water vapor, which moisturizes the air. Now, if you're wanting to use the nebulizer or oxygen concentrator, you'll just wanna make sure that you have the correct tubing that fits on the pork and consult your vet to make sure you're using the device properly for that kitten. Another thing to be aware of is that incubators have air filters and those air filters can get dirty over time. You can buy replacement filters online or you can clean the filters out and reuse them. In general, I'll clean them in between litters of kittens who are relatively healthy, but I will throw them away if I ever have highly transmissible illness in the incubator such as ringworm or panleukopenia. In those cases, I'm definitely going to toss and replace the filters. Of course, every time you have a litter of kittens exit your incubator, you want to fully disinfect it using an animal safe disinfectant. And of course, give the incubator a chance to air out if you've just used a disinfectant. You wanna make sure it's disinfected, has clean air filters, and is nice and comfortable for the new kittens coming in. There are a lot of different brands of incubators on the market, but the one that I really like is called the Arcom Pet Brooder. Sometimes you'll see them called the Arcom Bird Brooder. It's the exact same thing, so as long as it looks like this and it has the temperature and humidity settings, it'll work just fine. The Arcom Small runs about $750, and it's great for kittens in litters of five or less. Uh, it's not a great size if you're doing things like puppies or larger species, but it's a perfect size for most litters of kittens. The Arcom Large is quite a bit bigger. It is also more expensive. It's about $1,200, but that you could fit much larger litter sizes in if you did have the rare eight, nine, 10 kitten litter and it would be good for doing puppies or other species that are a bit larger. When it comes to fostering kittens, I think either the small or the large can work great. So it's really up to you and your budget and the amount of space that you have. If you look below in the description, I will pop some links in there for the incubators that I recommend. So overall, I am a big fan of incubators, but it is a bulky and expensive device that not every foster parent needs. So I hope this video helps you determine if an incubator is right for your foster setup, and I hope it helps you feel a little more comfortable knowing how they work. If you have any more incubator related questions, feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching. Back in the incubator.